today we are taking you to the heart of Mumbai into one of the largest slums in the world, Dharavi. We are exploring India and for the last days we have been in Mumbai and honestly we love it here. Yes, it's a chaos and the traffic is crazy but on every corner there's something special to find. Recommended to us by many is the guided tour through Dharavi and they were all right. Yeah. It's impressive. So we, are, we are starting the tour in the slums and I'm really curious what we are going to see. First we go into the industrial area and then we go to the residential area. And in the industrial area we are allowed to film everywhere. In the residential area, the people live there, you have to be a bit more careful. Our guide Warsha, she told that seven to eight people die every day in an accident in these local trains. We didn't know that. I thought there would be one or two probably every day, but seven to eight deaths are happening, Regist and that is registered. The amount of people maybe dying is not even registered, can be way more, which is really shocking for us. Little that we know that Dharavi is not only a slum where about one million people live, but it's also a mega factory with a total annual turnover over one billion dollars. You heard that right. The industry in Dharavi is worth one billion dollar. There are about 10,000 factories here, making things like leather, soap, toys for kids, rain gear and school bags. Interestingly, some of the world's biggest brands have their products manufactured here in Dharavi. However, the branding, including logos, is not added in Dharavi, but is instead applied at a later stage of production so that they can stay anonymous. Yeah. And they make for many brands here. That's why you can see the quality. They're both coming with plastic and then they put them on the quality and then the whole recycling process starts from here. And here, for example, they're making raincoats from this recycled plastic. You have probably noticed a large amount of plastics, but for a good cause. Because this is how it looks when a plastic gets recycled. There are several fascinating steps involved in recycling plastic. I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> Around 250,000 people work here in Dharavi. Many of them are not originally from Mumbai, but they moved from other parts of India to Mumbai in search of a better future. In the middle of a tour, we visited a shop. Yes, of course a bit touristy, but still the products sold here were amazing. This is the first design. I can hold it for you. Yeah. Yeah. This is design oh, yeah. one, oh, yeah. That's okay. really cool. and the second way. Multifunctional. Do you want to be a minimalist? Yeah, and we are, it also has our brand, the Ravi. The, Ravi. the, Ravi. the name of the slum. The new product. <laughs> so, I think the brown color is really nice. Yeah. Shoes like this, take a measurement. I will give you shoes in 24 size hours. Shoes. Perfect uh, size and also like appropriate uh, design, yeah. color, whatever you want. You, if you want, That's if you're crazy. looking for wedding shoes, I make a wedding shoes. How you you wear the sherwani? You just give me a cut piece of the cloth, mm. whatever you're wearing. I will put that cloth in the shoe. What we have seen until now, everything is just so so impressive, and we are actually considering to get something. We actually got two wallets and the most delicious butter chicken masala so spices. We got some butter chicken. Anything else? Like, so we have go? to do some Wait. action. Yeah, I will just Wait. zoom it out from the there. Oh, yeah. Professional. <laughs> Professional. Yay! And this is like a Dharavi local brand, Raja. I think the food, uh, like the snacks and inside men are cooking there. So they switched the work. 
<laughs> now let's explore the residential area where you'll also find many factories. We are in the middle of Dharavi in the narrowest alleyway. Super dark. <laughs> Until now, everything what we have seen is just impressive. It literally changed the whole perspective of how a slum usually is. It's so different than what we thought. Pottery is a major industry here. First, the pottery items are crafted and then they are placed in a large open air fireplaces to be baked. This was really the most impressive tour I have ever done. It was just, I said it before, I think mind blowing. The things what I saw and like the, the all kind of jobs they have here. It's like their whole world inside this slum. But I don't know, I don't think this area, I wouldn't describe it as a slum. And they are actually really improving this area. A lot of the houses they are taking out and they are building these flats uh, to give them a bit more comfort in a living. And yeah, if you're in Mumbai, really go do this tour. Just make sure you come in winter because the summer will be super hot. We are coming to the end of our Dharavi slum tour in Mumbai. Or should I say a mega factory tour. We hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next one.